Hello and welcome to the sideboard here at Grand Prix Charlotte presented by StarCityGames.com. I'm Kevin Crocker here with Pro Tour Hall of Famer Paul Rietzel. Paul, how you doing? Well, yeah, doing well so far. So we're here with uh, something pretty much your speed as always. We're here with a Naya Collected Company deck. Yeah. So first of all, the real question is, we've seen a bunch of Collected Company decks. We've seen Band, we've seen Obzon. Why Naya? Uh, well, basically this deck um, is proactive. It's playing a lot of the most powerful cards in, in Modern. I think, like, by my estimation, it's playing five of the ten best cards in Modern. Right. Um, and it doesn't need anything to go right. Like, if you just watched, I just played a match against Nam Sung Wook, and in both matches he had a turn one discard spell, and my hand just doesn't, doesn't matter. It, it, doesn't, doesn't care. it doesn't need anything to go right. It just needs creatures and lands, and it only plays creatures and lands, basically. Um, collected Company uh, in the deck just gives it another angle of attack and allows it to compete against decks that would otherwise be able to grind out or attrition a, a traditional zoo deck. Yeah, so it's very much like the zoo decks because Collected Company seems to be your topper here at four sure. mana. So we'll run through the mana cost of each of your creatures. Sure. So you got, uh, I believe, nine one drops and four Wild Nakato, four Noble Hierarch, and one Birds of Paradise. Yep. So you don't see traditional zoo decks anymore. Is, is Wild Nakato poised for a comeback? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, I, I think it's a good card. I think that uh, you know, obviously, the, the, its biggest weakness is its vulnerability to lightning bolt. But against all of the non lightning bolt decks, it's just you know providing probably the second best rate for a creature in the format after Tarmogoyf. So um, yeah, the, the fact that you can get it out on turn one and with all the exalted in the deck, you're attacking for four frequently on turn two against people who are dealing four damage to themselves. You know, in that way, you know, the deck can really just play like a beatdown deck. And then at the two drop slot, you got Tarmogoyf, Scavenger Goose, and Kasali Pride Mage. Now, Scavenger Goose, Tarmogoyf, we see a lot in the Jund or Obzon deck, so we're pretty familiar with that. But Kasali Pride Mage, you actually have, I believe, three in yes, the main? Yes, three. So, why so many Kasali Pride Mages? Is this just affinity hate on top of everything else, or is it really just another creature beatdown? It, it serves many different purposes in this deck. So, it's, it's obviously good against affinity. Um, it, it, uh, yesterday, it killed many ghostly prisons in the last round, so I needed it in order to, be, to defeat uh, uh, a martyr life deck that was playing sure. ghostly prison. Uh, it, it's, they, a twin deck needs to deal with it before it goes off. Um, and it's also, you know, a, a little bit of main deck disruption against Amulet, which I otherwise wouldn't have. Um, the reason why I'm, I run so many is because it can be fetched with Collected Company. So I'm, I'm, I'm upping my creature count to increase the chances that I don't brick on my Collected Companies. And I'm, I'm allowing Collected Company to, to kind of be a disruptive spell as well, because it, I know it can maybe go get an Ooze or, or a Pride Mage. Sure. So, so you get a little bit of uh, more value out of your Collected right. Companies with this. And then finally, at the three drop spot, we have Luxodon Smiter and Knight of the Reliquary. So Knight of the Reliquary doesn't see basically any play right. in Modern. Why did you choose Knight of the Reliquary, and um, what exactly are we fetching with it here in this deck? So, the reason why Knight of the Reliquary is so good in this deck is because it is about the largest creature that Naya can consistently get with Collected Company. Um, because we're playing 12 fetch lands in a Horizon Canopy, um, it's going to be a 5-5 a very, very large percentage of the time, and sometimes much, much larger. Um, and so, you know, a lot of times this deck just plays a Hierarch into a Smiter or another Reliquary into Collected Company for two more gigantic creatures. Sure. And if, if they're sitting there and they're trying to like bolt their way out of it, it's just going to be too slow and snap. It's going to lap at Snapcaster Mage. Just the creature doesn't impact profitably. Um, I don't have like a full toolbox for another Reliquary. I'm not playing Bajuka Bog or Sajiri Step sure. or Ghost Quarter that sort of thing. Um, the two the two kind of bullets that I have to search for are Horizon Canopy, which is just a fine card to draw. Um, it allows me to play a 20 second land to increase that my chances of not getting or decrease my chances of getting mana screwed. And occasionally, you know, if I'm playing against one of those decks where I need to find that bolt, I need to find that path. Knight can can search it up. And the fact that Horizon Canopy grows the night more helps, sure. obviously. And then I'm playing one copy of Kessig Wolfrun. Um, the reason why Wolfrun is so good in this deck is because I have seven creatures with, ex with the Exalted keyword. And so a lot of times I'm just going to attack with one 9-9 nine -nine or one 10-10, ten -ten, you know, which, was, which has been buffed by a few Exalted triggers. And I don't want them to just be able to chump block with a Snapcaster Mage. So it's nice to be able to go to Wolfrun and, and deal with those kind of smaller creatures that people play. Castle Volk Run hasn't seen a lot of play in Modern at all, but I mean, it was a standard all-star. Right. So, uh, speaking of standard all-stars, we can talk about your sideboard here real quick. Okay. We got a one of really spicy, well, a hot one, if you will, in Bonfire of the Damned. Yeah. So, how many people have you miracled it against? Have you accidentally drawn it 
without miracling it. Like, you know, sadly, between playing the deck online and for this tournament, I have never drawn the card. Uh, I know it's really sad. I was kind of hoping you'd play Kibler. Yeah, and <laughs> that'd be great. Um, very frequently, actually, uh, games two and three, the way I draw my cards, I kind of snap it up into my hand, which is not the way you should be drawing when you have miracles. <laughs> and I'll often find that games two or three against a deck, like a creature deck, I'll do the same draw that I normally would do. And then it's, it's not until I fetch and pass the bonfire in my deck that I realize, okay, I need to be drawing differently. You know, Thankfully, that happens early enough that I wouldn't have wanted to miracle a bonfire anyway, but hopefully I don't, uh, I don't deal with that issue. And when we have like an extremely hateful sideboard at this point, because we're talking about two Magnus of the Moon, we're talking about a Blood Moon, a Choke, Core Firewalker, Kataka. Did you just go through and look at the tier one list and go, what's the most impactful hate card? Yeah, well, I mean, there's two two things. So the first one is, I'm writing an article actually about this, that uh, uh, one of the ways that you can get edge in Magic tournaments that people don't use enough is to, is to have very specific sideboard cards. People are very concerned about splash damage or, or multiple uses, but like with Core Firewalker, I'm bringing against one deck, but if I draw it against that one deck, I win an incredibly high percentage of the time. Sure. So playing those sorts of, use, devoting sideboard slots to just winning a matchup when you draw a card is actually a very good use of it, especially for a deck like this that's, uh, like I said, not only proactive, but, but very redundant. So I, you know, I, I don't need, I'm not worried about finding specific pieces. The, the second thing is that, uh, if you notice, for, for a, a modern sideboard, there's a lot more creatures than you would normally see. Magus of the Moon, Firewalker, Thalia, Grim Lava, Manzer, Kataki, and the reason for that is Collected Company. Um, you know, Collected Company, being able to find my bullets that are very hateful to my opponent is, has been huge, and I won a game yesterday where my only way to win was to find the one Kataki off of Collected <laughs> Company. And you got there? And I, I hit it, yeah. Nice. Well, uh, you're doing very well with this. So is Matt Sperling, who's playing a very similar deck. So we wish you guys the best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you for taking the time to sign us in from the sideboard. Appreciate it. So Thank if you. you're looking for the next evolution of Zoo, perhaps this is what you'd be looking for. Otherwise, you guys stay tuned for more modern action here at Grand Prix Charlotte.